Tories only response to this cost of living crisis has been insults and inaction. The Tory backbencher who thinks people, poor people just need cooking lessons. Yep. The Tory minister who thinks that people should just get a better paid job. And the Chancellor, the Chancellor who thinks it would be silly to act now. This is the cost of living crisis from Westminster. For weeks, the Prime Minister has been briefing that it's the Treasury who are to blame for blocking financial support for struggling families. Well, Prime Minister, it's time to stop sniping from the sidelines. If this Chancellor won't deliver an emergency budget, it's time for the Prime Minister to sack the Treasury, to sack the Chancellor, and to put somebody else in office that will act. Prime Minister. Uh, look, Mr. Speaker, uh, I, I, I think that the, the, the right honourable gentleman uh, sh- should, uh, should understand that. Uh, I want to get back to the, the crucial point. We've been through COVID. Uh, we're facing a spike in global energy prices, uh, which has been greatly exacerbated by what Putin is doing in Ukraine. But to, 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 to deal with it, of course, what we're doing is putting billions and billions already, 9.1 billion, into supporting people with the cost uh, of energy cut fuel duty uh, by record sums, Mr Speaker, helping elderly people uh, in all sorts of ways, not least uh, through local councils with another £1 billion. But of course, Mr Speaker, uh, everybody in the, in the country knows uh, that we're not through this yet, and everybody can, can see that, and they all know that the government is going to do more, but they also know the only reason we can do that is because we have a strong economy with massively high employment, and that is the crucial thing, and it would not have been possible if we'd listened uh, to the members opposite. Absolutely.